The Story Thus Far Back during the summer, my computer experienced the blue screen of death due to a short in one of my memory sticks. Unfortunately, I trusted the computer's own memory diagnostic tool and thus spent three weeks f***ing around trying to get a replacement motherboard and wasting everyone's time. It wasn't until my new board failed to fix the issue that I finally figured out what the real culprit was. And, to the best of my knowledge, fixed the problem. Going to bed that night frustrated but relieved that the worst was behind me. Or so I thought. And so continued the BSOD saga. Part 7. It Won't Turn On. I woke up early that morning to pack my computer, taking care to disassemble it slowly and delicately, not wanting to break the f***ing thing right after I was done fixing it. It was a long drive to Jeb's apartment. I did my updates and uploads there because he had access to broadband, whereas I am stuck out here in the hills with satellite. Driving slow and maintaining a steady speed, still my stomach hurt. The stress that I had been under the last few weeks was doing a number on my health. I was getting sick pretty much every week, popping in acids like they were candy just to keep from throwing up. Of course, it wasn't just the computer. It was a whole plethora of different problems. The computer was just taking center stage. But it was okay, because it was over. The f***ing thing was fixed. It took me and Tim, a friend of Jeb's, who, due to a lack of adequate pictures, will be henceforth represented in this video by Timon from Lion King, three trips to get the whole damn setup into the apartment. We plugged it in, hooked it up to the internet cable, turned it on, turned it on, TURNED IT ON! Shit, this goddamn problem again, I said. Was it doing this last night? Asked Tim. Yeah, but if I jiggled the button, it turned on after a bit. Oh, here's the issue, I replied, looking down to see the power switch on the back of the machine turned off. I flipped it on, and... nothing. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I hit the button again. I hit it again. What the hell?! Fuck! Maybe it's a loose cable, Tim suggested. Yeah, yeah, probably. It was a bumpy ride. We opened the case up and looked in. All the cables looked... okay. Everything was tight. Oh. Oh, those f***ing power pegs! I bet they're the problem! Yeah, those things can be a real pain in the ass. We tipped it over, unplugged the pegs, and rearranged them, setting them up the exact way the booklet said to. Once it was all back together, we hooked the power back up and turned it on. And turned it on! What the f***ing- Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, just- Let's just look at this, okay? Let's let's just look at this. Just calm down and and try to look at this. When the power is getting to the board, the green light on the board comes on, okay? Yeah, it's on. So why isn't the computer coming on? It could be that the book that came with the board is from a different model, Tim suggested. Yeah, but wouldn't that, like... I, I don't get it. This should be working. I mean, I turned it on last night. I don't understand. But you said you were having problems like this before. Yeah, but I had to press the button a bunch of times. But it would turn back on. Yeah. Tim looked at me. I could tell what he was about to say before the words left his mouth. No! They tested this board. It's something else. It has to be something else. Maybe you should call them. I had tried everything. And if the issue wasn't the memory, what else could it be? I mean, maybe there wasn't anything wrong with the board itself, but maybe it was just the interaction with... I don't know. It, it just... It can't be the board. They tested the board. It's brand f***ing new. So I called them and sat through that horrible f***ing <coughs> sound. God damn, Turn that off! Why haven't they changed it yet? Jesus! Hello? Hey, I may be having an issue with my board. I, I think I may have just put the power pegs in the wrong position. Can you walk me through it? Model of your board? Asus HT76530PZ, wh whatever. I'm not going to walk you through that entire conversation word for word. I'll just give you the rundown. The guy told us how to install the pegs. We put them in the right position, hit the power button, and nothing happened. The problem could be something attached to the board, he suggested. 
How about you start taking the hardware out one piece at a time? Holy f Christ and a donkey's shit. I hadn't thought of that. Oh my f God. What if it was something else? Like my video card or my wireless adapter. Or even the case itself. The crimper, the crimper. We remove the video card and trying to turn it on. Nothing. We remove the wireless. Nothing. We remove the memory. Nothing. We remove the fucking CPU. Nothing. Maybe it's the power supply, Tim said. If it's the power supply, said the man on the phone, then what you need to do is remove the motherboard from its case and hook it up to a different power source. So now, with my computer's guts still spread out over a table once again, I removed the new motherboard, took it over to Tim's computer, he had plugged his power supply from his own motherboard, and we hooked it up to mine. We pressed the button. Nothing. Not. A. F***ing. Thing. Then it sounds like the board said the spider. How? The board is brand new. You guys delayed it by a f***ing week testing it to make sure it worked. Sometimes these things slip through the cracks. Slip through the cracks? Slip through the f***ing cracks? Dude, calm down. You calm down, Tim! I'm f***ing done with you Asus bastards! You mean to tell me that I spent all this time, all this money, all this effort to get this f***ing motherboard, this brand new board that I didn't even f***ing need, and now you're saying it's broken? There was silence on the line for a moment. Then a small voice said, Sorry? I took a deep breath, trying to calm down. My world was spinning again. I was feeling like I was gonna throw up again. Mother f I completely understand your feelings right now. If you want, we can go ahead and start an RMA for that board. The RMA. The RMA. Holy shit! I never sent the old one back! I turned to Tim, hanging up the phone in the process. Tim, listen! My board, my old board, is still on the table at home. The only chance I have to save my computer is to take it and hope it still works. Yeah, I mean, if your old board wasn't the problem, then it should still work, yeah. I need you to watch after my machine's guts. If anything so much as looks at them, kill it with fire! Okay. I didn't hear what he was saying. All I knew was that now it was a race against time. Somehow. Maybe it was the stress or the accumulation of all the sh** that was happening with my life at that point. F*** me. I jumped into my car and turned it on, the wheels screeching onto the road as I gunned towards my house. It was the start of a 40-minute drive to and from my house that, unknown to me at the time, was going to be a trip through hell. Continued in Part 8.